And skies are remaining cloudy across the area and nothing falling from those clouds uh, overlooking uh, the intersection there of East Tex and Highway 105, courtesy of Education First Federal Credit Union, part of the Roofing 911 Skycam Network. This is pretty amazing. Look at this, how much of the continental, the lower 48, how about that? 71% of the lower 48 are covered in snow right now and quite a bit of Texas, as you can see. Otherwise, uh, the winter weather advisories continue up towards the Lakes area, north of Jefferson County, north of Chambers County and Orange County. Some limited amounts of freezing rain, sleet, and even some snow possible coming up late tonight and tomorrow. But it is quiet, it is cloudy, and it's chilly across southeast Texas, but going to get colder. Again, we're going to be watching this disturbance right here. Going to move right on into our area. Looks like it'll affect mainly the Lakes area with a mix, a wintry mix up towards the Lakes area. Now this activity looks light and it's going to be occurring in the morning. Uh, it looks like a few hundredths of an inch of additional ice, maybe some snow. Hopefully you'll get more snow out of this than anything else, but I don't think that's going to compound the issues that we're already dealing with. Current temperatures mainly into the mid thirties across southeast Texas, but uh, already down to the single digits. Once again, up to Wichita Falls, Childress at 11, 28 in Waco, 31 in the San Antonio, Houston at 35 and currently 28 degrees over towards Pecos, Texas at this time. Again, the system that brought us that round of freezing rain sleet this morning has moved off the east coastal low pressure there. Now we're watching this next disturbance. Notice how the clouds are brightening up as we're getting more lift in the atmosphere and see this banding right here. That's an indication that there is lift in the atmosphere. The air is going like this and at the top of those peaks is causing lift. So we're going to see precipit. Well, we already are seeing the precipitation starting to break out in that transverse banding, and that's going to be headed right on into the lakes area as we head towards tomorrow morning. Still a large area of Texas under winter weather advisories and even some winter storm warnings across the state. Again, it's due to this disturbance coming right on into our area by tomorrow morning around 830. And that will bring us another round of uh, light precipitation across the area. Then this main trough finally digs through the area as we head on into Friday. So what does that mean? We get a northwest flow and that means S-U-N and we start warming up as this trough passes us. But tomorrow morning we'll be dealing with wind chills in the teens and 20s across the area. Tonight I've taken the clouds off of this particular model so that you can see the precipitation coming on in. Expecting a lower uh, lows in the uh, 20s up in the lakes area, near freezing in the triangle. And then here it comes. Here's another different model. Doesn't show quite as much, but it looks like light activity. A mix of rain, freezing rain, sleet, and maybe even some snow coming up. I think we'll see high temperatures. It's a little cold for my taste. We'll go with about 40 in the triangle and the mid to upper 30s in the lakes area. Then we prepare for another hard freeze coming up tomorrow night. On the Gulf of Mexico, choppy seas around two to four feet with a small craft advisory. Water temperature at 46. Boy, I would love to have this water temperature at 46 degrees right on through August, September, and October. And you know why I'm talking about it. Otherwise, tonight a 20% coverage of a wintry mix, mainly in the lakes, lows in the upper 20s lakes, near freezing in the triangle tomorrow. Mainly a 20, maybe 30% coverage up in the lakes area. Again, a wintry mix. And what does that mean? It means freezing rain. It means sleet and maybe some snow up that way. After that passes, you should get into the upper 30s in the lakes to the lower 40s in the triangle. Normal highs this time of year are 67 degrees. We'll be 25 degrees below normal. No records in jeopardy tomorrow. I think that's about done. A hard freeze expected coming up Friday morning, then chilly sunshine. Saturday, another hard freeze, but warmer, still cool. Sunday, here we go. The big warming trend, even though we get a Pacific cold front coming in Sunday night with a slight chance of showers, we're at 71 by next Wednesday. So at this point, I think everyone's okay with putting the phrase near record breaking in our past. I've seen too much of that over the last week and a half. Absolutely. So we're, we're glad to be looking at the other side yeah, of it. Yeah, I think we're on the uphill battle. Yeah.